What's going on? YPG. YPG. And you are locked on to the Youth Hangout. And we are here before you every Saturday at 1 p.m. Tell your friends, tell your family members that we are here, we are locked on. And if it is that you missed last week, you cannot miss this week. This is the Youth Hangout people. And I'm your host, Kevin. And together with me is my co-host, Serafina. And as know. you can see, I'm on time. I'm on here. Time. She's on time we're this on time. week. Thank God she's on time. <laughs> All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to discuss a very important topic with you guys today, and we want you guys to stay locked. I have a, a, a word to share with you guys quickly here. This is, a, a, this is something that I saw, and from here, we're going to channel to this important topic. Take a listen. At my funeral, don't cry. I've been dead inside for a long time, and nobody cared. Memorize it because we're gonna be back with you. Take a look at these videos that we're gonna show you here that we took on the streets and you heard the opinion and the views of the citizens of Trinidad and Tobago. Yes, viewers, we are here today with Kevin and we are gonna ask you a question. What is your intake on the topic suicide? So, Kevin, what do you think about suicide? You know, what is your intake? What is your experience? Have you, you know, seen anyone that had been suicide and what was the reaction? Okay, suicide is a real thing and because of the stress level of the challenges of life if you're unable to manage that you can see that as an option to relieve yourself of the stress but with the correct support system and with God in your life I believe that this is something that you can overcome so I think that it is a real thing and it should not be taken for granted so with this video, I hope that it helps to educate some people and that they are able to it will, it will. and are able to you know make better decisions. And we are thankful for the brother because this is a positive move. So blessings. Okay guys, as you can see, the people on the street as usual, just like last week, they had a lot to say. Many people that we interviewed, they even had experienced it or they knew someone that experienced it at some point in time. But I want to cut back to the word that Kevin mentioned to you all earlier. Mm -hmm. Let me just say it one more time. It's at my funeral, don't cry. I've been dead inside for a long time and nobody cared. Now maybe you heard the quote in the beginning when Kevin, when Kevin said it and you was probably like, what are you going to talk about today? What madness is this? What kind of thing I'm going on yes, with? I'm not with it. It's like, what is this about? Mm -hmm. It's something probably that you may have experienced it or you knew someone that experienced it or you knew someone that actually did what we're about to speak about. Mm -hmm. And that topic, of course, is suicide. Not just the thought of suicide, but the act of suicide itself. And it starts because this phrase that, we, that you came across mm -hmm. on Facebook, yeah. Kevin, it's something that's very, very strong. And even though we often look at the posts that people put on me, like, what's going on with them? But yeah. sometimes Facebook is a way for these people that they're going through so much inside to cry out. Exactly. And this person, of course, you're seeing that person was suicidal. Yeah, the person found the opportunity to vent because probably that is the only way. This person probably don't trust anybody. Probably this person spoke something already with somebody. And the person went behind their back. They spread the, the rumor about them. They, they spoke about the information that they gave to them. And this person really don't trust. So the only thing Sarafina that is left for this person to do is vent on, you know, on public. But is it up to us to judge the person? No, it's not up to us to judge the person, but it is for the healthy person. And when I saw this, you know, we I tried to get in contact with the person, and we're gonna you're gonna hear more about it in the program what the person said. And we're gonna I just wanna show you guys, sorry, should I say read to you guys this quick message that one of the youths, we had a, a, a questionnaire on our personal chat, and the youths were able to respond, those who were facing the situation before. But was able to overcome here from this pursuit she said yes i had thoughts about killing myself because i was neglected at home and because i felt unloved and it made no sense living this is something that we always hear that ending it makes no sense living self you know mm -hmm, because one of the main points of suicide so to speak kevin it removes the person's hope Exactly. In the problems that they face, the situations that they face sometimes. And I think each person is totally different. Each person's case is completely different. So I may be facing something that to you, you can overcome it like that. It's true. It's but true. because of my capacity, I cannot take anymore. So I feel hopeless. So when the person reach that point that they have no more hope, they just think, okay, the only other way for me or the only other thing for me left to do is to just kill myself because they, they just get a thought. Yeah. And I know this from personal experience, they just get a thought. 
everything will be good. Everything will be over, all your problems will be finished. People will be, people will be happier because you're not wrong, because you feel like a burden to people. All these things that come to your mind to convince that person, okay, suicide is the way out. That is exactly. the end. And you're going to hear from a, a leader, that, or so it's a coordinator from Shogona. She's here with us also in studio. And you're going to hear her testimony based on how it is she was able to overcome. But before she came to YPG, she was a particular person, a person that was struggling, a person that found it hard to overcome. Even though she was involved in parties, lining, whatever the case is, still inside she was suit. Still inside she was defeated. And you're going to hear from her very soon. But before you do so, we want you guys to take a look at the melody explosion that was in existence during the quarantine season there, during the COVID-19 se uh, season. And the youths were challenged to sing a song and even form choirs to be presented. Take a look and we're going to be back with you guys.
So you would have seen the melody explosion and the youth enjoying themselves. At, as we said last week, I really get Rel Jones. I get Rel Jones up at this. You know, it was something that really made me laugh when I saw it. And I must give, you know, our congratulations to the youth. I don't know who just went by the way because we were promised that we would. <laughs> you know? Nah, I don't think it's for Spain though. I don't think <laughs> it's for Spain. I do believe strongly is a rumor, but anyhow, we ain't gonna get into that. We're gonna talk. We're gonna talk about another comment that a, a youth made here on our chat and you know Sarafina is gonna read for mm -hmm. you guys to, to hear. Okay, so another one what another one of our youths they were saying like this. Yes, I did have the thoughts before of killing myself due to the problems I was facing in my family at a young age. I was abused and going through a lot and I just wanted to stop it all, but I stopped it. I believe that taking my life would have been the answer for it all to be over. Mm. So it's just like we were saying just now. Yeah. They just be going through so much and they just feel like, all right, the only way out is just to end my life. And coincidental, it's always at the end, it's better that I take my life. That is always the end result. And it's something that I believe you who are watching, all right? It is something that you go through or you experience. I'm not saying all of you, but there's probably somebody that we're speaking to right now. And you're probably listening to this program and you are reflecting on what it is going on because it didn't come just so. It started from our history. Something that took place in the past, something that affected you through a relationship, uh, uh, something, a resentment and a rejection, something took place. And it brought you to this position where you keep thinking that suicide is the best option for me to get out of this problem. Mm -hmm. Because, and just like we were saying, each and every comment that we receive, mm -hmm. each one is different from the next, but yeah. the bottom line is just as you were saying, it's better to kill myself, it's better to take my life. So they face different problems. Each situation, just like we were talking earlier, we were discussing about the different yeah. types of people that experience suicide. Mm -hmm. Some people, and just like one main point that you spoke that I kept, where you said that people that are suicidal, they cling. They yeah. try to cling to something, to try to find life in some, in exactly. that thing, so to speak. It's a sort of energy they're looking for because around them, there's always something negative, something, you know, popping up in their mind. No, this, you can't do this, you'll never be successful in this. And it's always something that's happening. So just imagine a person who is being neglected by love. They're not seeing the love, they're not getting that love from the parents, and they look to look for a relationship, thinking mm -hmm. that that is going to be the solution to what they are lacking within themselves. Guys, I want you guys to take a look now because you're going to go across to Judah and Sharice and you're going to hear this testimony and we want you guys to pay close attention. If it is that you're now tuning in, this is the YPG Youth Hangout and we're going to be back with you guys. Yes, Kevin, we are here with Sharice from the branch of Shogunus. So Sharice, we are here to ask you today, how was your life before coming to the YPG? All right, before I came a part of the YPG, I was a youth that was, I was confused, I was depressed because of the family problems I was facing at home, financial problems and relationship problems. And because of that, it led me to have um, suicidal thoughts. Mm -hmm. You know, I would be confused. Sometimes I would know what to do when I'm alone. I would, you know, hear these voices in my mind telling me to, you know, just, just kill yourself, you know, and things, it doesn't make sense. But sure is the voice, the voice in your head, what did it sound like? Was it a, a grand voice, you know, saying, uh, sure is kill yourself? Was it, was it, was it sung in evil or was it sung in like yourself? No, it, it wasn't myself. It was just like, you know, on one side of saying like, you know, I could probably get through this, but no, you know, taking your life would be the easier way out, you know? Was two, was two thoughts that you were battling with? Yes. Yes, you and maybe you are watching this today and you are battling within two thoughts right now as you speak so take this advice from Shuri. so Shuri, after coming to the ypg you know how was it for you what was your process was it you know slow or fast uh, process yourself to mix it wasn't fast at all actually i did not want to come to the ypg when i was first invited i was like you know i don't have time for that uh -huh. you know i'm a mother i have other things to do i didn't want to come but 
gonna just say something and say, no, give it a try. Just, you know, just go and try out the YPG and see what it is about. Give it a try. Give it a try. So I did that and um, 2015, I joined the YPG and today I'm still here. I receive, you know, help counseling from the YPG leaders that were there at the time. They yep. helped me along the process, you know, taught me how to overcome these thoughts, what I need to do. And I no longer have those thoughts, right? I'm a youth today. I am free from those depression, the suicidal thoughts. And from since 2015 to now, I never left. I'm here in the YPG and let's see. Okay, but within that process, Sharice, okay. if you don't mind me asking, within that process from 2015, entering the YPG, how was it for you? How hard was it for you to change? It was challenging at times. Challenging at yes, times? Yes, because I was, you know, accustomed to this life on the outside, you know, in the world, doing things on my own, you know, and coming to the YPG, I learned also discipline, you know, how to control my thoughts, my emotions, stuff like that. So. Uh-huh. Yes, you today you might be watching it and it's saying, Ah, uh, well, you know, changing, I can't change. I'm never going to change, and I will not change. By no means, sometimes your parents, you know, sometimes your friends, your boyfriend, your girlfriend. But as Sharice did, you can do. She was here, she stayed, she was persistent, and it's the same that you can do. It wasn't easy, but what she did was stay. And from there, talking to the leaders, talking to somebody that she can trust, she found help and now today Shuris is a different person, not so? Yes. And how are you inside? How do you feel now? What is the difference between the world and actually changing yourself? What is the difference between the world and actually coming and changing through the YouTube? Well, today, you know, as humans, we will still have problems, uh -huh. right? Everybody goes through problems sometimes, but I no longer, those problems no longer get me down. It, it doesn't overcome me. I still have peace inside. I know now how to deal and handle situations better than before, right? I have peace inside of me, joy. I can no longer say, all right, because I have a problem, I wouldn't, you know, do certain things, that kind of thing. So you balance your options before balance, yeah. you make a decision yes all right and that is the case so youths people for you who are watching us now please take this advice because as youths or sometimes as adults you know you find yourself being between two thoughts between a bad thought and a good thought but the way your options are sure is dead and you will see the victory you will have peace inside of you See you. All right, so we are back at you and you saw Judah interviewing Sharice there and the things that she said really highlighted to me. And one of the things that she said was the fact that, you know, even though she was, she had the opportunity to party, she had the opportunity to lie with her friends, be among her friends, she was not feeling that inner peace. She did not have that inner peace. And it is something that you need to understand. If it is that you're facing a situation, but you try to resolve the situation with just an exchange, you're not going to have a complete change in your life, Seraphine. That's true. And one interesting comment that we had also on our group, mm -hmm. where it says, suicide doesn't have a look. Ah, so yes. maybe you have your friends, yes. you have everybody around you, your family, mm -hmm. and you're saying, but this person didn't look suicidal, mm -hmm. or this person, I didn't know. It's because they don't have a look. Exactly. Everything that the people as we go going through, as we inside and as we sometimes they will try to talk or sometimes it doesn't talk. Yeah. So you have to actually give that air and be mindful of your words. Our words, as um, Kevin, mm -hmm. it does do more than we think it does do. Yes, it could curse the person rather than bless the person, basically. And you need to know how to treat the person. You don't need to know how to talk to the person. No response is very important to somebody that is thinking suicidal. And we want you to know if it is that you are facing the situation right now. What you need to know is that we are in, currently, the campaign of Israel here. And what it is we want you guys to understand, it is the campaign of revolt. If it is that you are revolted towards the situation, if it is that you revolted towards the depression, revolted towards the financial issue that you're facing, whatever the case is, and most importantly, the suicidal thought that is in your mind, you need to be here this coming Sunday at what time? At 1 p.m. 1 p.m because here you're going to learn exactly how to overcome the situ situation how you're going to be able to be revolted towards it and eventually overcome here in the ypg but before we go we want you to take a look at this other clipping that we have showing exactly why it is you need to be here and just how much you can do to yourself to overcome the situation
Alright, we're about to wrap up, people. That is it. We are finished. That is it, Safina. Alright. Okay. And then. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We forgot. You completely uh, forgot. You see this sabotage thing that Arima has come for. There's no sabotage thing. There's no sabotage thing. We're not going to be here this Sunday. This Sunday, we're having a massive event in Tunapuna. So if you're from the Tunapuna region, call the numbers. We're going to have the numbers below. You're going to be seeing it right eh, now. Eh, eh, Arima is going to be there too. Don't forget. Those of you from Arima. We're meeting. In Tunapuna. It's all, right. all about Tunapuna. One Sunday. big show down. And be sure, be sure. Let me tell you something. Yes. Come on, man. You know? That's yeah. far. <laughs> anyway, That's guys. Far. For the spin is the heart. We're the headquarters. We don't know. As, as we all know, the engine room for the spin. Kudos. No problem. All right. So, guys, listen. Continue to subscribe to our channel. You can see us every Saturday at 1 p.m. And we're sure to see you tomorrow. Day in Tunapuna. Don't stick. Don't, don't kill the vibes.